tutorial explains how the sharpening tools work in Photoshop. Settings depend largely on the resolution of your picture. If it's a low resolution, it's a much different setting to a high resolution. The JPEG formats does some sharpening in camera. So bear that in mind, your camera will do some of the work for sharpening in the camera. If you're using RAW, you need to sharpen always. Sharpening process in Photoshop is much the same as most other photo editors. The types available in Photoshop are Sharpen, which is a preset and you have no adjustment. Sharpen edges, again a preset, no adjustment. Sharpen more, a preset, just exactly what it is, sharpens more than the previous two. Smart sharpen, completely customizable. You can sharpen whatever you want, however you want. Unsharpen mask, again completely customizing and it's by far the best in my opinion. Uh, sharpening, we go to filters, down to sharpen. First, the first one is sharpen, which again is a preset. It has no adjustment, so click it once, watch the picture carefully. Do you see any difference? That's as much sharpening as it does. Uh, now if we go in closely, now with Photoshop or with any Adobe product, you hold the control key down or command if you're a Mac and then the plus key. It will go in so you can see a close up. And let's try on the history palette over here. We'll go back to before. And when I sharpened, there. So you can see a very gentle amount. Uh, we'll keep it zoomed in like that. So let's do sharpen more. I have filter, sharpen, and we'll go for sharpen more. Did you see the, uh, it looks like it's enhanced it quite a bit. Now let's zoom out, which again, the shortcuts for that in Photoshop, very useful commands, is Command and Minus on the Mac, on the PC, Control and Minus, and it goes out in stages. So now we can look at our picture, it looks fairly smart, if you look at that B. Now we go back to how it was, that's how it was, now to sharpen more, that's how it is. That's quite respectable for a normal photograph which is not zoomed in. Okay, let's go in for sharpen edges now. So filter, sharpen, sharpen edges. Okay, now you could see a little, a little difference, but uh, again, let's zoom in. So control plus, Okay, now, as it was, and now I've sharpened edges, how it is. Not very much uh, difference on there. You can do sharpen more again, and it will improve. So, sharpen more, and there it's made quite a respectable picture, actually that's very close in as well. So there are some subtle differences between, the two, between those two commands. Next command I want to do, go back to normal on the history palette, we go back to open. So we've forgotten all the history of sharpening. And now we're going to go to smart sharpen. So filter, sharpen, 
smart shoven. Now, that actually is the last setting I had it on. It comes up by default. So, uh, we the radius generally is only about one to two pixels, um, but you alter the rate of the amount to see how subtle or how good you would like it. And that's in one foul swoop, you've done it. We zoom in, and I think that's fairly good. Let's go back to open as it was. That's before, and that's after. So let's go zoom out. We'll go back, <coughs> and now we'll try unsharp mask, which has the sounding that it does the opposite to what you want but it actually does a very good job especially on portraits and faces animals and the like unsharp mask now again it's taken the the default of what i had i used last time so again i use between one and two on the radius how much of the area you want to sharpen now it's on 81, take it down. The key is to get it sharp, but without it showing too much pixelation. For instance, if I pull it right up, actually right up with this works pretty well, but his wings are looking a bit pixelated, and the leaf here is looking a bit um, scaly. So let's uh, tone down. Out there. Now let's zoom in. Control plus. And his head there is looking pretty, pretty cool. Now, before and after. Pretty respectful, I think pretty respectable I think okay let's zoom out back as we started now there is one other tool on here which I didn't uh, mention on the PowerPoint which is a selection tool over here now this is a selective sharpening so if you click on the arrow here it shows you the blur tool the sharpen tool and the smudge tool the sharpen tool is marked, so we use that. Now, at the moment you have a small circle. You can alter that by right clicking and alter the size of the brush. Or choose the different brush down here. So, well, at the moment we are using a very, very soft brush you see the hardness is totally off now the, the hardness means uh, it, as you get it up here to very hard you're going to see the edges it's going to be a definite circle you'd see where I did it the way we have it at the moment is soft so all the edges are uh, what's the word uh, fluffied out so they're there are there's no real hard line in there so let's try that so we'll just rub clip clear left clip with the mouse over what you want to get sharpened just keep rubbing over there until you get the desired effect that you want I think that's looking pretty good, isn't it? The beauty of this one is you can select a certain area rather than getting everything all sharpened and pixelated. So I think that is stunning actually. So let's control plus to zoom in. Right. Now that's as it is now. 
and that's as it was to start with. So before, oh, this is after, this before. Now let's make it big. So it's like a normal photograph. So that looks quite stunning, doesn't it? Before, afterwards. Okay, those are the sharpening tools. Thank you so much for watching.